Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Dear Sex Mankind Divided. So today is going to be a little bit of a different episode because I don't have any actual quests to do except for the main mission. Um, so I will just walk around and see what I can find before I embark on the next main mission. I don't know if it's going to be like a full episode full of this. Maybe it's going to be more, maybe it's going to be a lot less. It will depend on what I will find. But as I mentioned last episode, I will be editing this because I think it's not going to be very interesting to see me walk around all these places and hack into doors and read all the stuff. But I will be recording all of it, so if I find anything interesting, like a new quest or an interesting person to talk to, I will include it in the video. And then we'll see how much I find and how much material it will be. And after that, we will finally continue with the main mission. But yeah, let's start a look around and I guess I'm actually going to start in this very apartment building because um, I know there are a few apartments here with locks, so I'm starting to hack them and see if I find anything of interesting. And as usual, I will bring you back whenever I find something interesting. Well, um, I don't know if this qualifies as something interesting, but it's definitely unusual. What in the world is this? The Void Witch Binds. I'm currently in one of the apartments in Jensen's apartment building, by the way. And I just hacked the door and this is what I'm finding here and it's very disturbing. God, Void, New Alchemist, very strange. But yeah, let's loot this place. I have been finding some nice loot in some of the other apartments as well. Nothing that seemed too unusual, but this one is definitely weird. I do want to hack that computer in a second. Maybe that gives me some insight into what's going on here. But yeah, look at all this nice loot. And of course I need to look behind the fridge. There's a printer below the fridge. Yeah, that makes total sense. Uh, more weird stuff in here. TVs that don't work. Okay, um, let me have a look at this computer. Joseph Severn, rating 3. Okay. Well, I do have rating 3, but um, it still might be difficult to do this. Depends on whether I get detected on this... Uh, folder. Well, um, now I'm detected, but I hope I have enough time to do this. There we go. Excommunicated. The user of this address has blocked all incoming messages from your IP. Is this... Is this about this weird church of the machine god? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm going to read this later. Um, I'm not sure if this is relevant to any of my quests, but um, it's interesting nevertheless. So I thought I should show you this weird place. The Machine God. Yeah, that's probably about this cult we've been hearing about. Okay, um, I think I think I'm going to leave now again. This is a creepy place. Some of us remember beauty. Oh, there's actually people inside here. Do not give up faith in the church. What? We will all find our way to oh. the machine god. Well, he's not dead, he's just sleeping. Seeker, you are here to see the builder? He has been asleep, but I cannot wake him. I do not know if he will recover. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm going there to steal his money. <laughs> do not 
Uh, sometimes, sometimes RPG games are Do weird. Not give up faith in the uh, I don't know. I mean, this right here seems like something that I would that be a quest, but um, it doesn't seem to be one. So I guess I'm ever. going to leave we him alone in his little weird Some apartment. Builder. All right. Um, sorry to disturb you, and sorry to rob all your stuff. Huh, this is interesting. I'm currently back at Collar's place, but Collar is not here. But he did receive a new mail from Ota Botkovelli. So, let's read this. Mr. Collar, I have just the most interesting meeting with your representative. Suffice it to say, we have worked out an arrangement. For now, whatever deal you made with this organization will remain status quo. Should this new deal fall apart, however, well, you will certainly hear about it firsthand, Mr. Botcovelli. So I guess this refers to the deal that I made with Ota, and he uh, sent Kola an email um, about this. So there's some new info here. But yeah, um, Kola is not here, so I thought I could maybe talk to him again, but I can't. He's he's not at home. I also wonder what happened here. I mean, obviously some people died in here, so a destroyed building. I'm not sure if it just collapsed or if it burned down or maybe it was an explosion or whatever. But um, it seems that it had some casualties when this happened. Interesting. Local scan complete. Maintaining cautious patrol mode. Huh. Now, this right here is interesting. Key card reader. Use church key card. Apparently, this is a church of the machine god. But I can't get inside. I need a key card. I mean, there might be another way inside, but... I'm not seeing it at the moment. Hmm. Alright, I have left the press cover district and I'm now back in the Chester district. And I have found a number of semi-hidden places in the press cover district that looked like they could serve a purpose. But they didn't really, not that I could determine anyway. For example, there was a place with a few drug dealers that sold neon and a few references to that neon quest that I already finished and a few places that had like all kinds of vents and hidden doors and whatnot. But nothing that was really tied to a story. But I did get a bunch of loot, I did get a bunch of money. Um, I actually uh, was able to buy one of the Praxis kits from the shop, so I have four open Praxis points now. And I still have this whole district to uh, look through, so um, I'm going to continue and see uh, what else I can find here. Ah, a customer, right? Over here! What you need? Let's see, what do you have? What do you want? Hypostims? Pick up a prescription? If you want Mikel or the doctor, they're not here. The doctor. The doctor in quotation marks. That sounds kind of weird. But yeah, tell me about this doctor. This place has a doctor? Oh yes, Dr. Sipra, Mr. Big Shot from Tai Young. Who thinks he's too good for a place like this? Tai Young. What did he do for them? Pfft. <laughs> He calls it experimental neurotherapy. If he's so good, how come his patient ran away and he can't find her? What does an experimental neurotherapist do exactly? He is vague about it, and I don't care enough to ask. You want something else? I don't know, but this sounds very interesting. Again, this kind of sounds like the setup for a quest, but it doesn't seem to be one. Um, plus, there's a lot of cereal in the background. Jensen should love this place, because apparently that's all he eats. 
But yeah, maybe you can tell me more about this guy. Who is Mikhail? My nephew. He works here as an assistant, but he didn't show up for work today. His apartment is just across the street. Would it have killed him to let me know he can't come in? Hmm. Probably not. Especially since you seem like <laughs> such an approachable boss. Did you come here for something? Yes, I want to buy you a cereal. Or I'll take some hypos as well. I'll take the hypo stems. Here. But that's all I have for now. <laughs> okay. In that case, I'm going to leave. I'll be going. Do what you want. Okay, so I did not get a quest from this. But, I mean, it feels like a potential quest. So maybe I should check that building across the street to see if I find anything. Oh, you were totally holding out on me. You still have more hyperstims. Also, I guess I'm going to check the uh, back of his shop. Oh, great. There's gas in here. Yeah, let's, let's not go in there. Unless I find a way to turn it off. Well, there's one over there, but... I don't know. Un unless I, I know what I'm supposed to do here. It may not be worthwhile to investigate. I mean, this is level 5. I would have to use a multi-tool. So, yeah. However, um, I am starting to believe that I will come back to Prague sooner or later because there's a whole area of the city over here that I can't seem to access at all. There's like a gate and I can't get through it. So I guess some of the stuff that I'm discovering here might become a quest later. Oh, can I have a look at this? Dr. Nicholas Chipra, your requested password has been created. Owning the devil. This is an automatically generated message. Please do not reply. Um, I mean, that password is for a computer, ah, right? A customer, right? Over here. What so, you need? if I find a computer that belongs to him, I can use it. But, yeah, um, I think I will come back to this place after my next main mission, maybe, and I will have more opportunity to explore. Man, I still want to make sure that I haven't missed any quest that I can do at the moment, so I will continue to look around and see what I can find. This is only an appetizer, if you know what I mean. You want a little taste, eh? Here you go! Drink it all in! You want some more? Come get some more tonight in the red light district. I'm not exactly sure what this guy is trying to sell me. We've got it all. You want to try an og? A dog? A log? We'll get it for you. Anything goes at the Red Queen. Okay, well, that sounds intriguing. However, the red light district is basically the part of town that I can't enter at the moment. So I guess that will have to wait. Also, have you just been taking a photo of me? I know you can't resist, are we really doing any good? I'm glad that there are some places tonight, in this city that will still rent to the augmented. I think he just took a photo of me if with his cell phone. Welcome home. It doesn't get any cleaner than this. Well, look at that. <laughs> the apartment is actually clean. I mean, I ordered the cleaning service before I left. And it looks a lot better now. I would say I totally did this guy a favor. If he's ever going to come back, that is. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. I wonder, though, if the dead woman is still upstairs. Okay, apparently the cleaning service uh, removed the body of the dead woman as well. That is quite an amazing service. <laughs> We're going to get rid of your corpses as well. You say so? Hey there. 
You're looking for a new stereo system? I don't really get much time to listen to music. <laughs> How about movies? You like movies? Or maybe you got other interests? I'm not sure if Jensen has any interest, to be honest. What kind of movies are we talking about? What do you mean by other interests? <laughs> yeah, got anything specific in mind? What do you mean by other interests? Well, I figure a man like you, he might need a little energy boost from time to time. You're not talking about protein bars, are you? Bio cells, my friend. In perfect working order and completely under the radar. Actually, yes, I would like to have some more bio cells. I'll take them. Sure, I'll take one. <laughs> well, that's it. You've cleaned me out. Okay, well, you don't really have much in stock, do you? So, what about the movies you are offering? What kind of movies are we talking about? Oh, never mind. I was just making a stupid joke. What you really mean is you don't want to tell me, since it's obvious I didn't come here for that. Uh... <laughs> Calm down. I'm not a cop. So you really only want to sell me by yourselves. Okay, fine. I think I'll be on my way. You're free to come back if you change your mind. Well, if you have more by yourselves, I would take them, but probably you're out of stock, huh? Sorry, friend. You cleaned me out. Yeah. So I'm going I think to I'll be on my way. You're free to come back if you change your mind. Maybe I'll come back later once you have some actual stuff to sell again. Nothing pure upon us, sewers. The way I like it. Please see the receptionist. Sir? Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services, including ultra-secure corporate vaults, as well as executive safes for smaller accounts. Exclusivity, anonymity, and security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense. That security is a major concern for your clients. Oh, yes. Everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly, and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Would there be anything else? I don't know, Abani. I can ask a bunch of questions. Not sure if this is going to be useful for me now, but let's do it. Tell me about the executive safes. Your executive safes are available to anyone? Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our saves are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. It is. Mostly they are held by executives from our client companies, but some select individuals have been approved as well. But with the same high security standards, I hope. Oh, of course. And access to the executive safe room is restricted. Clients must use their assigned personalized key cards to gain entry. That's all? Sounds a little simple. It's a little bit more involved. The key card also switches off all automated security measures within the vault. Lasers and sentries and the like. All very high tech. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, Jensen's uh, questioning methods are not very subtle, but apparently they do get results. Um, so, is the account manager available? Huh. Let's uh, ask more about the corporate vaults first. How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big in fact. We call them container vaults. Like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground, makes sense. Great security feature. Absolutely. In addition, they are only visited by appointment and require the use of a client's keycard to access. So, I need another keycard for that. And what about the corporate archive? So, this is a data haven? Well... <laughs> 
We don't use that term here, but <laughs> yes. We archive highly sensitive materials and documents for some of the most powerful businesses and people in the world. No worries about corporate espionage here. Or government subpoenas. Our international clientele do tend to uh, disagree with the stance of their local governments as it pertains to uh, corporate rights, let's say. So they take advantage of this country's more pro-business legislation? Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose that's one way of looking <laughs> at it, if you were a cynic. I prefer to think that our clients shouldn't have to deal with small-minded anti-capitalist bureaucracies if they can avoid it. Okay, I understand. I mean, I already found some of your interesting data in, in this building. So yeah, let's ask about the account manager. I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. Okay, that's a pity. Thanks for the information. All right, I guess I will spend some time looking around this bank again. It's pretty much the last place in Prague that I want to check out, and then I will finally go back uh, to the main mission. Right, I totally forgot that I already got a keycard when I was here the last time. So I can already get into one of their vaults. But they are all empty. So much for all our vaults are occupied. I mean, we have a few of them that are locked. So I guess they might actually be filled with stuff. Alright, um, let's see if I can hack a few of these. Rating 4, okay. Well, maybe not. And rating 5. I mean, I could get the upgrade, I could use a multi-tool, but for now I don't want to uh, spend any more practice points or use any tools. I am fairly certain that at some point I will return to Prague, which makes sense because in the previous game we did return to Detroit after um, a few main missions. So um, I'm not in a hurry to enter absolutely every uh, place. I will just come back here once I have leveled up a little bit. Alright, I think it's time to end my exploration for now because I have been doing this for a few hours now. I mean, just hacking into all the computers back at TF29 and reading all the emails took me about one and a half hours. And I got some interesting information, some interesting gossip about Jensen for example. Um, and I found a bunch of hidden places all over town, but overall I didn't really find that much um, that I really need to show you on camera. So if I want to get a full episode for tomorrow, I need to do some story missions now. So um, I will continue uh, with the next main mission now. That being said, doing all these explorations was totally worth it, because um, I leveled up not once, but twice. And I got enough money to buy both Praxis kits from the shop back at Jensen's apartment. So I have six open Praxis points now. Um, that should help me with my next mission and I should be able to adjust my augmentations to whatever problem um, I will encounter. And um, yeah, I sold most of my crap already. I have a huge amount of neuropazine now. I'm not selling that because sometimes you need neuropazine to give to people and they will give you stuff or info in return. So I'm keeping that and the rest is just my normal inventory. Anything. So yeah, I guess um, we need to check out this place now. I actually haven't uh, investigated this place during my exploration because I didn't want to run into a cutscene or whatever. Yeah, so well, let's go problem, into this right place there. and see what's How going on here. Safe in this city? I mean, this looks kind of creepy. Why is there a guy hanging here? Can somebody tell me that? All right. Um, what? <laughs> what is this place anyway? This is so creepy. Um, 
I guess it's another one of TF29's cover businesses. <laughs> okay, so apparently I did get a code for this one. There we go. Ooh, look at this place. Meet Miller at the helipad. Yeah, that's um, what I'm supposed to do, but this place looks interesting. Let's spend a few minutes to look around and I'm already picking up more crap that will clog up my inventory. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. The hawk. Huh. Mm. Is it worthwhile to go inside there? I think I think I will try to hack that door. I do not need to remind you folks that this is the third We have more money over here. All of them occurring after Sure, let's um hack the keypad over here. I have become quite proficient at hacking. Oh, but this one is um a difficult one. I have to go through several high-level folders to reach my destination. And of course I get detected in my first attempt. Yeah, let's exit this because usually when I get detected that early I'm not going to make it. So let's try this again. Okay, that's much better. Um, let's try to avoid the level 4 folder over here. Okay, I'm detected now, but I have a lot of time left, and there we go. What mysteries do we have down here? Well, even more money. Um, and I'm picking up a lot of crap again. So, I actually may have to make a quick trip to the next shop before I continue with my mission. Huh. Well, we have a vent. Look at that. Where does it lead? That's the same room. Most uses vent ever. Well, I suppose um, you can use it to go down here without actually having to hack the door, right? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Anything else of interest around here? That's quite a fancy code in here. And yeah, I may have to uh, quickly go to the shop again to clean out my stuff. Oh, I see this over here. Yeah, it's highlighted on my smart vision. So we have some hidden stuff over here. Nice, I saw that. Okay. Well, someone over here is a plane enthusiast. Oh, another triangle coat. I still don't have the app, so they are kind of useless. What is this doing here? A, a trophy? Ooh. And it's level 5. Yes. Yes, I will leave that for later. But what about this computer? Elias Chicane. Oh, I know that name. That name popped up a few times when I was hacking computers at TF29. So he's one of um, the agents there. It's level 3, so let's give it a try. Why not? 
Um, again, it actually looks kind of difficult. Okay, did not get, get detected here. Anomaly detected. But of course, now I'm detected. So let's see if I can rush through this. Access granted. There we go. So what do we got here? Uh, mail from Delara Ozan. Director Miller has told me you don't come into the office very often, but I was hoping we could find a time for you to, to talk to me. Standard procedure. New shrink has to poke her fingers in everyone's pie. You were in the SAAF, SAAF right? I think we might have some friends in common. Disappearing trick from T Bird Air to Elias Chicane. What the hell happened to you last night, man? You got some kind of 9-11 or something? Looked around at midnight and you were gone. Nobody saw you take off either. Cause we were all a bit wasted by then. Should have seen the size of the bill. <laughs> Speaking of which, you know Kruger's retiring, right? Well, next time you're at the airfield, be prepared to ante up. We're passing ahead hoping to raise enough to buy him a real parting gift. And I don't want to hear you complaining that you only buy gifts for people you like because everybody loves Jerry. Seriously, you can afford to dish out 20 credits. Okay, I don't know what this is all about, but it's interesting. Payment received from billing at JHBPCH Corp. <laughs> Mr. Chicane, a payment has just been processed on your account. However, the bill is still two months in arrears. As this is the third time this has occurred, if the bill is not paid in its entirety by the end of the month, we will have no choice to have you foster to have your foster brother transferred to a public facility. Please contact administration for further discussion. A foster brother? He's in care somewhere and he has to pay for him but he doesn't have the money. Okay? It's interesting. Mm. You know what? I'm actually going to spend a multi-tool on this one. I'm curious now. I mean, I don't have many multi-tools, but I have a bunch of uh, um, parts that I can use to craft multi-tools, so... This shouldn't be that big of a problem. Okay, what do we got here? money that I'm taking from him and a laser targeting system oh this is like an upgrade right well what can I use it for <laughs> I can actually use a laser targeting system on my stun gun um, I'm not sure if it's really useful to do that, but then again, the stun gun is the only weapon that I use, so I may as well. <laughs> there we go. I now have a laser-guided stun gun. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright. And I got a pocket secretary. Let's read this as well. You are a man of few words, so I shall be the same. I know who you are. I know where you come from. I know what you left behind. You carry a heavy burden. I can make it lighter. Then there's a coordinate. Offer expires at midnight. This guy has some serious secrets, apparently. Well, that's very interesting. But yeah, um, I think before I embark on my next mission, I need to get rid of some stuff in my inventory. So I will quickly head back to a shop and uh, sell some stuff. And then I will come back here and we will finally start um, that mission, right? Alright, I'm back. I sold all the stuff that I just picked up and now I'm finally ready to start this next so mission and I'm close. going to assume that is Miller I can't just take time off I know that, let's eavesdrop but there's got to be another way another doctor she can see try telling him that I'm 
just afraid he's going to go behind my back and do it anyway. Well, this is definitely a private conversation. So, <laughs> let's talk to him now. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. Okay. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCamp footage. State police dropped it off this morning. Badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? You got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. Really, dude? Weren't you supposed to, like, plant evidence and that's the best you can come up with? You're not even trying, are you? Well, there he is, the famous chicane, huh? Am I late? Are you too early? You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. <laughs> Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms. Not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmailed would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utilek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I've made a deal with an Ark prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promised to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past Ark's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at a department in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? Um, yes, apparently I do. You ask me, Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. I guess so? You ask me, Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. I understand. Um, you really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks, for all of them? Well, maybe he doesn't, but we know that he has orders to um, pretend that they do and to make sure that they get blamed for it, right? You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to tell us, Rucker, and bring him in, Agent. Okay, got it. Um, yes, got it. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. Goddamn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? Nah, I like my limp. 
keeps me honest. You ready to light out? I guess I am. Experience, you're my only backup on this one. Before we leave, I'd like to know you've actually got my back. Chicane, you get along like this with everyone on Task Force, or are you just, a, are you just going out of your way for me? <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's like that with everybody. The mail that I read back at TF29 seems to indicate that he's a little bit of a loner, so yeah, maybe that's it. Chicane, you get along like this with everyone on the task force, or are you just going out of your way for me? I got a speech, Jensen. Just one. Got it memorized, too. So I suggest you do the same. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not your pal. I'm not your buddy. Don't try calling me sport or partner. Definitely not fucking bro. <laughs> I'm your pilot, plain and simple. You want to talk about the mission? Fine. You want to get cozy? You can forget it. Remember all that, and we'll get along just fine. Okay, that was pretty straightforward, so um, I guess I'm ready to leave. Let's do this. Good. Strap in. pre-game ritual you've got there. You getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. It's kind of interesting to see Jensen use that blade because I never actually use it in the game. Since I believe it's for the lethal takedown. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. Go to preference. Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> wow. This is quite a different place compared to Prague. I mean, Prague is outright idyllic compared to this. This reminds me a lot more of Hengsha. Jensen. Oh. <laughs> Still got all your parts together? I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? Housing Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me, I'm gonna switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. Okay, you have fun with your coffee, and apparently he just literally dropped me off somewhere. <laughs> and now I'm in Golem City, and this place looks very charming. Um, ooh, do you see that? We have eight levels. Okay, so um, this will probably uh, take some time to explore, but I think um, I have enough for one episode now, so uh, let's call it a day, and in the next episode we will uh, have a look at this place. So as usual, thank you for watching, and see you again next time.